Hello everyone, welcome to one more informative video. In this video, we'll talk about breakpoints. Breakpoint, uh, first of all, we'll understand uh, what is a breakpoint and how it works. Then we'll go to uh, deleting them and deleting them like all of them in one go. So uh, starting with like the definition, a breakpoint is as the name suggests, it is a break uh, in the code. Uh, all the red dots you see here, like this one and this one and all of them in this page are called breakpoints. So uh, when we run the application, uh, they help us uh, debug the code. For example, there's an error and we want to check line by line what is the error. These help, for example. And uh, to add a breakpoint, you just have to click uh, anywhere in the code and go to the left hand side and double click. You'll get the breakpoint. Or you can simply click here and press uh, F9 from your uh, keyboard. The breakpoint will be available. So as you see, there are many of them. So uh, First of all, we'll run this code from here and see like uh, what is the impact of all these breakpoints. We'll just test one of the transaction and this is enough for us to understand. So this is a screen where we uh, add, for example, okay, I clicked on uh, adding a transaction and it uh, brought me on this screen. So I'll do that again for you in case you missed. See, this is scrolling and I can simply go to the code and click on continue, 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 continue. So I'll reach here on this specific page. There are more breakpoints obviously, so just select a transaction, an ID. This form can be like, uh, it, it can have all the details or like it is dependent upon uh, what you're making or what application you're working on notes amount 4000 and click on save as soon as you click the application reached here which is a breakpoint so if you click on like f10 to reach the next line you keep clicking on f10 and it will you know move to the line by line code then continue this is how it works so since i don't want to go line by line it will simply continue so after crossing all the uh, breakpoints it reached here and added this specific transaction so since I've added like more of them so there are many and it is possible that in the code you'll have like a lot of breakpoints available on each and every code so it is very difficult to uh, you know find each of them and uncomment or maybe delete them one by one so what we'll do is uh, we have an option to enable or disable them so first we stop this and go to debug here and disable or all breakpoints like this. Once you disable the color will change like this, this circle white and then um, again like if you run the application it will reach here and if you add the transaction from here right now again income there's no breakpoint application didn't stop or hold and I'll add something, some, some random data and like this, something like this and save. And as soon as you save and the transaction, okay, I think, okay, it has done. So there's no breakpoint, no pause, nothing. The transaction successfully added. Here it is. Since we have disabled all of them. What if you want to delete them all? So it is, as I said earlier, it is uh, very difficult to find them one by one. All we have to do is we can simply go to here, like in case if you want to enable all of them, so you can simply click here, I'll show you again, like disable, debug, enable. Okay, and delete all the breakpoints. This will delete all the breakpoints from the entire project. So uh, you can do them like, uh, instead of doing them one by one, you can delete all of them in one go. So thank you very much for watching and uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such information videos. Thank you.